Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome, as you can see, to Glitch Hikers. Okay, alright, we're already starting Glitch Hikers, indie game. Saw it pop up on the radar a little bit ago by Silver String Media, also as you saw, out of Vancouver. Whoop. Basically, <laughs> I don't know what to expect, I've honestly... Okay, alright, so, okay. Not really a driving game. I'm not driving other than changing speed and changing lanes. Uh, select advanced dialogue. All right, I did plug in my, my controller, but it looks like we're not gonna need it. Uh, yeah, I've basically avoided really reading or watching any videos about this game. Oh my God, because uh, I just wanted to check out what it's about. Indie game, it's definitely very, Ooh, the turn signal. Very, uh, a lot more conceptual. And that was Pinky's Dream by David Lynch. This uh, is Radio <laughs> Andy. <laughs> Already the David Lynch <laughs> reference has come in. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, very... Almost a hundred years before Lynch -esque. ever sailed to the Americas, a Chinese explorer named Sheng He made seven naval expeditions, traveling thousands of miles with over 300 ships. When the next ships? emperor came to power, Did you say all ships? the ships were destroyed, and the Ming Dynasty entered a period of isolationism that lasted hundreds of years. With that one decision, the fate of the world changed. Let's go on a journey together, with our next song, Find Me, on a Whim. Sir, your blinks take an inordinate amount of time. You take your eyes off the road for like a split second. Uh, but yeah. This is, this is Glitch Hikers. I have no idea. Oh, yep, see there's something up ahead. Is that another car? Uh, the only thing I really read is that the developers, it, it came to them as an idea after driving at night down a, down a lonely road in the country. Maybe I should speed up to catch these guys. Oh, oh, that was a person. What was that? <laughs> Stuff starts to happen. It's freaking me out, man. Uh-oh. Craziness. All right, I'm gonna try to catch this car up in front of me. If I see that person on the road again. Now what happens? It said like the mouse click was something? Okay, mouse click is doing nothing for me unless it's the scroll wheel? No. Okay, mouse click, they do nothing. I swear, didn't it? Say the mouse click did something. Anyway, all right, let's, like I said, try to catch this car. Zebra crossing, I feel like I should be paying attention. Perhaps the signs mean something. All right, let's catch this car just to see what their deal is all about. Top speed of 120, speed power. All right, they seem to be matching my speed. Oh God, oh, then they've disappeared, all right. I feel like I should look out for one of those people on the side of the road. It is, after all, named Glitch Hikers. I'm assuming... But eyeballs? There's some sort of hitchhiking component. Oh my god, what? Wait, I didn't even... I picked somebody up, apparently. Thanks for the pickup, I was beginning to think. It would be hours before I got a lift from something worthy. Got a lift from something worthy. Okay. How do I... Whoa, sorry, I don't mean to be... Steering out of controls. Is this how I... Whoa! Oh, okay. Are you hurt? I've never done this before. Bad experience. I've never done this before. I've never picked up a hitchhiker before. Ellipsis. I also don't watch the road whilst driving. Nor do I allow people to smoke in my car. Ma'am! There's the first time for everything. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Why would you say that? If you say don't be nervous, that makes me nervous. You're making me good! Just to the next rest stop and we should be great. A good drive can fix a lot. Mind if I smoke? Well, apparently not. You, you are already smoking. 
I love driving. It's a lot of fun. Is that a joint? Haha! <laughs> I love driving. It's a lot of fun. Is that a joint? Well, is it? Drug references! Recreational narcotics. <laughs> I guess hurtling through space at deadly speeds in a tiny metal shell could be fun for some people. Gives you something to think about. They say the journey's more... I should be like doing a different voice for this person, but I don't feel like doing that. They say the journey's more important than, you know, the other thing. Hey, that sounds familiar! Somebody has said that before about some other sort of YouTube Let's Play series that's been going on for over 350 episodes. Not judge, wink wink. Say no more. Why are you driving? I honestly don't think I am, because the car is turning itself and maintaining speed. Uh, I told you already, because I like it. I like it a lot. Well, that's fair, I suppose. Joy is a worthy suppo- Bleh. Pursuit! <laughs> Bleh. Did you swallow a bug? Is that it, though? Oh, there's those cars' lights again. I'm gonna guess those aren't lights at all from a car. When I was a kid, we had a cabin out in one of these islands. Oh, we're near islands. At night, you could see the thousand. You could see thousands of stars. Thousands. I'm gonna speed up a little bit. Change lanes. It was so bright, you didn't need a flashlight. I gave them all names: Atticus and Caesar, Garuda and Saul. Better call Saul. I can't f reach this car. They fought each other. Ooh, this is new. In wars of my making, alliances formed and were broken, explosions burst across the sky. I was a god to them. Stars are too far away, there is no god. Stars are a light in the darkness. Sure, let's go with that. I think the stars are a light in the darkness. Maybe the darkness is an illusion. Okay, we're going- oh, now there's two cars. We're going into uh, the the last episode of True Detectives here about the darkness and the stars. Hiker, I didn't ask you about your parents or your, your childhood. Your smoke, Pfft, your smoke's getting in my face. Your triangular little geometric smoke. My parents pretty much ignore me. Father was too drunk, mother too busy. Yet I still remember those days fondly. Think that says something about me? Um. No, I think nostalgia is kind of a shared human experience. One day, a man came to the grassy spot where I played. He said he was from the stars, and he pleaded for my mercy. I told him it was all make-believe. He just shook his head. Did that really happen? Did you stop? Children are cruel. I will ask the question of validity. Did that actually happen? Oh, I lost the cars in front of me. Don't you believe me? Maybe I don't believe myself. I was just a kid. I don't believe that you're actually sitting there since I didn't stop to pick you up. Too bad I was never really a kid. Thanks for the lift, tuck and roll! <laughs> Is the... Are you going to be disappear? Yep, 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 alright, I'm hallucinating. Well, that was a little different. I would Ever say. I wonder why the night sky is black? Even though there is nowhere you could look that doesn't eventually have a star, shouldn't it be white? And scientists say the average color of the universe is beige. There they are do? stars above you even in the day. Since when? <laughs> and they are watching. The Grab stars are watching you. Next. Keep your eye on the road and have a lovely drive. How do you know I'm driving? It's a rather presumptuous presumption. Right. You know, very similar to, uh, I'm getting a, uh, oh, what was the name of that game I played? That was like this, and very, like, more puzzle games, uh, Cairo, Cairo. Although this, there's less, less active, you're less actively involved, I suppose you could say. You're just kind of along for the ride, as it were. Oh, hell. Oh, let me guess. I'm gonna automatically pick that person up. Yep. Oh. Sweet eyeball Jesus to the nearest possible. 
the baby's about ready to pop out. <laughs> Thanks for the pickup. Not many of your species deemed willing to make me. Did you by any chance, maybe 10, 20 years ago, visit a little girl in a field? Shouldn't you get an ambulance, my species? You're not human? That is the question I would ask. Noticed that, didn't you? Nah. You're a sarcastic alien. I'm from a little planet in the Triangulum Galaxy. Our star got too close to another system and almost collided with a blue giant. There was a war, and it made the planet totally unlivable, of course. So we left. That seems unlikely. What was your planet? Ah, see? Okay, did a little girl do it? Did a little girl from the islands cause it? That is not the question I wanted to ask. I don't know what you mean. Now who's the crazy person in this car? My journey here was long, but wonderful. There are so many worlds in the galaxy. So much life. You said you were from a different galaxy. Are we talking about the universe here, or, or still on the galaxy scale? Or is the Milky Way galaxy what you call the Triangulum Galaxy? A little planet of tiny volcanoes and bao... baobab... baobabs. I don't know what that is. A civilization of artists and dreamers who believe we are all just living in someone else's story. Tribes of nomadic people who live among the stars. Okay, the clicking advances the story. Oops, I accidentally clicked and advanced the story before I wanted it to. You know, all of the elements that form life were created in the heart of a star that exploded, spreading the elements throughout the galaxy? I did know. I did know. Thank you very much. I watch Cosmos. You and me, you and I, we're made of stars. No, yeah, I guess that would be you and me. English! My god, it's full of stars. The first bit of sense you've made. We are one with the universe. What's the alternate? We are one with the universe. I'm gonna go with two because that actually does make sense. You really don't believe me, do you? Luckily, my existence is not predicated on your belief. My god, I really want to catch this car. I don't think it's a car at all. They're just lights in the darkness. Ah, uh, weaving storylines together. In many mythologies in this world, the sun is a deity of power, light, fire, strength. Some myths say it must be reborn every year, whereas the earth goddess represents life, birth, fertility. But really, there would be no life without the sun, no earth without the sun. We are all born from the stars like the sun. Shouldn't the sun god be the creator of light? Our life and light. Ah, that was a Freudian slip if I ever heard one. Forgive the ancients their mistakes. It's just a metaphor. They were dumb back. They were dumb back. They were dumb back then. Uh, I'll go with three. The myths are just a metaphor. Although even that's not technically true, but of course they are. Oh, it is true. A plus. You get to graduate. All of it is. Human students. Oh. <laughs> Human students of semiotics. I don't know some of these words. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at English reading. Say everything can be a sign of something else. My sister lost a baby. Oh wait, you're pregnant, aren't you? We're trying to get you to a hospital. I don't think there's a hospital out here. For years she couldn't talk about it. Then one day she said to me, it's just as well. This universe doesn't care about life. I'll wait for the next one. The next universe or the baby? I can't wait. The hospital's just up here. Ellipses. Ellipses. Sonder. Do you know what that is? It's the sudden realization that every other person, all the people around you, driving those cars are fully conscious people with their own stories and goals and loves and thoughts. I do have that thought sometimes. Somebody in front of you at the grocery, it's like, hey, they've had an entire life that you are only a little smidgen of a fleck of dust in, and you just happen to be behind them in the line in groceries, and they will continue to live their life as they have lived, and you yours. We're getting deep. We're getting deep here, folks, on old Kurt JMX channel. <laughs> I, did, I, I actually just did think about that for more than a few seconds with the audience. And, and the circle of life disappears. 
I guess we don't always have control over the hospital back there. This car doesn't have a rear view mirror. But we do control how we react. Accept, grow, live, love, hide, fade, wither, wizen, embrace, fight. You are all alone out there, but you know, you're never alone. Millions of distinct bacteria share your body. You're never alone. How is this guy still on the radio? Keep driving, driver. Turtles all the way down is up next. What about turtles? What? What happens if I slow down? I've been speeding up the majority of the time. Like, what's my lowest speed? 90. I can't seem to catch these cars ahead of me. Oh, I feel like there's another sprite coming up ahead. I see a little blinkiness. Another hitchhiker. Glitch hiker. Oh, I, he's right in my perception. Perhaps if I draft him. Okay, who's this guy? Interesting. Was he holding a gun? Oh my. Hiker. The universe... Hiker. I don't need to be reading who is actually talking. The universe is expanding, and yet the universe has no edge. No edge! What is it, what is it expanding into? I'm in my fourth year of physics, and I don't even really get it. It's a mystery. The more important edge is in space, but time. Infinite spaces can expand infinitely. There's something more out there. Hmm. I mean, apparently in the game, if you choose different outcomes, you get a different you get a different story every time. I think there's something more out there beyond the universe. Oh, that's my line. Maybe there is, and maybe we will never know. Not for sure. That's beautiful. So much possibility out there. So much infinity. See, the thing is, I don't really need to get it. There's like 300 billion stars in our galaxy alone, and billions more galaxies out there. Our little single planet doesn't matter a bit at all, and yet, it's still wonderful, don't you think? I agree. Uh, the moon has also turned a interesting reddish hue. Not sure if we should be concerned about that. Even within an infinity of the unknown, we still have love and happiness and life. In all of the crazy infinity that is our existence, in all of the vastness of understanding, we still lack. There's this amazing thing that is consciousness. Carl Sagan, did they make this game for me? Carl Sagan once said that since we are a part of the universe, consciousness allows the universe to know itself. That's beautiful. I'm sorry if I'm kind of like reading this in a dead tone. It's because I can't, when I read it, that's how I hear my own voice in my own head. So I can't, you know, I can't really be too dramatic. That's why I'm not an actor. One day in the lab, we were doing chemistry experiments, right? Just a simple grade school exercise of burning different substances to see the colors they produce, like fireworks. Magnesium, copper, strontium, lithium, science and art come together. My lab partner was this girl I didn't know. Oh dear. Is this this person, the first hitchhiker? But God, she was pretty in a sort of spunky way. We talked about different kinds of stars, and the heat death of the universe and entropy, it was the start of something beautiful. Uh, what was her name? I don't really want to like... <laughs> Love is fake! <laughs> Get out of my car, kick! We went away, the, that, that wasn't an answer to my question. We went away the next day, far away, to a little world of our own, floating amongst nebula and white dwarfs and undiscovered planets. Her sense of humor was dry. Sometimes I didn't even know if she was joking. She said the most absurd things. <laughs> Says the person with the lava behind the face. <laughs> How she wanted to die in the heart of a star. She said she'd burn up long before she got close, and she looked at me like it was a challenge. Challenge accepted. We laughed and cried together, helped each other through tough times, family, friends, our own minds. The way she looked at me... A little smile in her eyes. Wait, what's going on on the radio now? I hear voices. 
The way she could rattle off chemical equations and the constructions of molecules. She drew them in her sleep, and I'd watch her eyelids flutter gently. You don't have any hands. Flutter gently, the rise and fall of her chest, the tendons in her arms. Little stumps. We watched the fireworks together on New Year's, rattling off the compounds used, the balance of heat and luminosity, then flew off into the sky through the lingering smoke. I don't think I'm ever going to catch any of these. Well, perhaps that's the end of the game when you catch one of these cars. I don't know if I should be trying or not. Should I be speeding up, slowing down? Uh, anyway, <laughs> we were together six months before it flamed out. Ah, uh, stars. Too intense for us to keep it up. But it was beautiful while it lasted. I will always love those days. Love is an amazing thing. It's what it's all about. Connecting other people, connecting with other people like that. The universe knowing itself. I'm going to see my new girlfriend now, just outside the city. We're all going to die in a fiery explosion one day. We are. It's just going to happen. But what a wonderful thing to be a part of in the meantime. God, I love driving. Don't you love driving? Why do you drive? Um... Just to get somewhere. Because I answered something different. Let's see what just to get somewhere. I'm just trying to get somewhere. Don't ask me where, because then I, I'll be flustered. And I will not know the answer to that question. Yeah, I mean, I guess we all are. Maybe that's all there is. Did you disappear on me? Dang Look it! Look at the night sky. I'm trying what do to you drive. Out there? Emptiness? Chaos? Triangles. An uncaring void? <laughs> or do you see the stars? The art of the nebulae, the romance of distant galaxies? Is God watching you? Is she watching any of us? Seven billion people on this world, and all we have is each other. Our own little infinity. Now count back with me, driver. Uh oh. Five. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Uh oh, Welcome no, no. Back. Oh, this geez. has been Radio 90 Night Drive. Travel safely. Good night. Okay, we're down onto a two lane road. Get out of the passing lane, sir. Or ma'am. Is there anybody in my seat? No. Dude, oh god. Next up is. Techno Tunes! On Radio 89.7 FM. Oh, Hell's Blazes. Comets. <laughs> it's the Camelopolopolids that we missed. Is that a city? I think. Oh, what was that? I saw something out of the corner of my eye. What's this say? What's the sign say? Left lane exit only. I want to check out this city. The song's about gravity. <laughs> oh, okay, that was like the first choice we had to make. Oh, no, 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 yep, yep. What, what's going on? I don't, is that the game? I know it's a short game. Oh, okay, that's the game. There it is. <laughs> Glitch Hikers. Available with the link in the doobly-doo, glitchhikers.com. An experimental game, I suppose you could say. Kind of a... I, I was expecting there to be a little bit more input on my part, but it is more, I suppose, of a... Uh, what's this? Uh, 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 almost a text adventure, you know, but with a little bit of graphics going on where you just choose your responses, and that apparently shifts the direction of the storyline. Uh, like I said, I thought there might be a little bit more choice as far as, like, the driving and how that influences the storyline goes, but... And perhaps I missed something along the way, I was too busy reading the narration, or the, 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 uh... What are those things called? Subtitles and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Like I said, check it out, it's free! Free! Free game! Glitchhikers.com And let me know what you think. I don't know, maybe I'll play this again with a different series of answers to see what kind of different 
kind of different storyline we get now that I'm kind of prepared. This, like I said, I went into this blind. I had no idea what to expect. I even plugged in my controller thinking I, it was like a driving-ish game that I needed a controller for, but no, no. Uh, but it was, it was cool. I, I, it's very cool stuff that these kind of games get made like this. Like I said, uh, Cairo, there's, there's a bunch of other... I have a whole list of these indie games that I just want to play and show you guys. Special thanks to all these influences. I hope these songs are, are okay on the YouTubes, but uh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to see if there's anything after the credits. It's like a Avengers movie. Come on. Ah, I knew there was something. Nerd Fighteria. I, I was getting a very distinct Fault in Our Stars kind of John Green-ish. And also the No Edge thing. Uh, the Hank Green-ism. Yep. Is that the end? Oh, wait, no. Slowest end credits ever. I think I think this might be it. <laughs> oh, it's fading. It's fading. Hold on. <laughs> 